Hello, and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about personalizing Linked POS. Linked POS has been designed to be personalized to suit your needs. You can change many things in Linked POS, ranging from the theme to the number of digits after the decimal. In this video, we'll be addressing the micro details that can be adjusted in Linked POS. To change these settings, head on over to the Help menu. In the drop-down that appears, choose the Settings option. This will open up the window that allows you to change settings in Linked POS. There are three tabs in this window, the General tab, the Sales Order tab, and the Quotation tab. Let's start off with the General tab. This tab can be used to change the general settings such as the date time format and the number of digits after the decimal. Let's start off with the first field, the date time format. This field can be used to change the format of the combined date and time displays. There are a lot of options that can be chosen. Choosing an option will automatically update the preview on the right hand side. The preview shows you how this will appear in runtime. Next up is the date format. This field can be used to change the format used to display dates in Linked POS. Some businesses use the date, then the month, and then the year format. Some businesses prefer to have the month, then the date, and then the year format. You can choose your format from the drop-down that appears and it will update the preview on the right-hand side. The next field can be used to change the time format. For example, some businesses use the 24-hour format. To select the 24-hour format, select the format with the capital H. There are other formats that can also be chosen. The preview will be updated with the format you select. Next up is the digits after the decimal in the amount field. In this field, you can set the number of digits you need after the decimal in prices. For example, let's take the Kuwaiti dinar. The Kuwaiti dinar has 1000 fields or subunits in one dinar. Hence, it uses three digits after the decimal to represent the units. When you set the number of digits to three after the decimal point, you can see a live preview of how this will appear in linked POS. Let's take another example, the US dollar. The US dollar has 100 cents in a dollar. Hence, it uses two digits after the decimal to represent the cents. When you set the number of digits to two after the decimal point, you can see a live preview of how these will appear in linked POS. Note that the default value in this field when linked POS is installed is two. This means that there will be two digits after the decimal point. Next up is the digits after the decimal in the quantity field. This is a powerful feature of linked POS. This field can be used when talking about quantity, such as in the case of vegetables. Other point of sale softwares on the market only allow users to enter whole values. Linked POS gives you the option to be able to enter decimal values such as 1.5, 1.24, 1.73, 2.17 in the case of quantities. The default value in this field is zero. This means that there are zero digits after the decimal. Let's set the value of this field to two. This will allow you to enter a value with two digits after the decimal. You can also see the value being updated in the preview section. The next field can be used to set the number of digits after the decimal point in the general field in linked POS other than the quantity and the price. Next up is the sale order tab. This tab can be used to modify the messages displayed on the sales order, also called the receipt. The second section is a relatively more important section. This section can be used to write the terms and conditions of your store, such as the return policy. The next tab is the quotations tab. Linked POS allows you to create a quotation to give to a customer. A quotation is an inquiry a customer does about the possible price of a purchase they may be planning on making. This tab can be used to write the terms and conditions that appear on a quotation. Once done, hit save, and this will update your settings. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.